Hi, welcome back to my workshop. This is part two of the XT PC build. In this part, we're going to be assembling an AdLib sound card kit. So let's get on with it. It came with everything that you see, but it didn't come with instructions. And after checking with the seller, it should have, but I, I didn't get them. I managed to find some instructions and then eventually they sent them to me. The board that I brought actually looked quite different to this. It didn't have all of these links that we can see across the bottom. So this is the OPL sound card kit that I brought. This was another eBay purchase. Could have brought them ready-made. Uh, and this one comes with everything, including the metal bracket this time. So we have chips with some sockets and some components. So the only thing that this one is missing is actually instructions. There are no instructions inside, which is a little bit disappointing. At least the other one had some instructions. It does have uh, all the components written on the board. I cannot find any instructions that tells me how to make this. I'm not sure what these are. Nothing tells me. There are 22 nanofarad caps on the board. And then these, these whatever those bits are, and I believe links are supposed to go in there. I've done a bit of searching and they had a few versions listed and I found one that they were selling as complete that matched the board that I've got and I can see that from this really rubbish picture these components that I wasn't sure what they are are actually links then there's those yellow parts are orange nanofarads and the reason I couldn't find all the rest of them is because there's only one on the front and the rest are actually on the back so now that I've seen that, I think I know how everything goes together. So let's give this another go. So overall, not impressed with the quality of this kit, not including any instructions and also the picture of the actual auction doesn't match the version of the board that I've got. So I can't even use that as a reference. I've had a look on their website couldn't find any instructions on the website either. So I have contacted them asking if they have instructions, but overall, not a very good kit. So I think I will start with the 100 nanofarads on the back. And now we're gonna have the noise of my extractor back on again. You can't see the labels on the back of this board because of all the crap that they've put over it. So it's really hard to make out that there is another 100 nanofarad just there. Also, if you'd have put any chips on before these, uh, these caps, you wouldn't have been able to because the chips are over the the top of the caps, solder points. So that's the 100 nanofarad on the back. So um, before I solder up the ICs, I am just going to quickly clean the flux from the top of the board because we won't be able to do that once the, um, the chip's gone. So uh, next I'm going to do the links. So I'm just going to use some resistor legs.
Uh, so, two more. So that is all of the links. Next, we'll do the resistors. So there is this one, uh, 10R, and that is R1. And then the rest of the resistors are 10Ks. So now we have the chips. And I have enough sockets for this one. And I only need one of one eight-way socket for the main system. So I'm gonna put sockets on all of these. I'm actually amazed that they haven't included a socket for the Yamaha chip. So that's all of our sockets in place. That's so annoying. You can't see, I can't see that the solder is flowing on the white PCB. It's really annoying. horrible hate it so i think that's all of the sockets soldered on uh the next lowest component is the jack okay i'm going to do the capacitors without the multicam because the battery died uh, and also they've emailed me with instructions and the same rubbish pictures that I've already found but from what we can see it's fairly really straightforward so three 10 microfarads the boards are marked up with a plus and then the 100 microfarads so I'm just bending the legs over okay that's those caps and then one more 22 nanofarad should have done that one first so that is our board made up then we have our IC and we don't, don't want to forget our anti-static so we have a 74LS245 at U1 we have a gal with really wonky legs at U2 and I got the socket wrong way around, but we can see there that the chip needs to go that way. Then we have the OPL chip, which looks like it's been removed. So that has signs of being soldered. And then the three smaller chips. U6 is the 2114D. 
U5 is a TL072. And the last one is a YM30148. So that is our sound card made up. The last step is to clean the flux off the back. This one came with a bracket and screws. So that is our AA Pro OPL sound card. Overall, I'm not particularly impressed with the kit and the white PCB, I really don't like that. You just cannot see the points that you're soldering on the back and I couldn't see all of the silk screen on the back because of all this rubbish. So all I can say is it better work. So that's the second of the kits. So the last kit is the actual mainboard. Before I actually start assembling that, I need to find its instructions and organize all the components. So we'll see you shortly.